One of the most requested videos that I have gotten is, Heather, we need some comfortable shoes. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 of the most comfortable shoes. This is perfect if you're 40, 50, 60 and beyond and you wanna wear heels, you wanna look fabulous, but you want them to be comfortable. But just to be clear, there are some heels in this video, there are some flats in this video, and there are some sneakers in this video. And every pair of shoe will be styled with a fabulous outfit. So no matter what your lifestyle, casual or dressy, you should be able to find something you absolutely love in this video. Now make sure you listen to the entire video if you're interested in my dating life because I have been dating a guy from Austin. I actually like broke up with him and then we sort of got back together. And so I will share the full story at the end of the video. And I'm so excited to be offering confidence boosting style sessions now. The link will be down below in my description box. If you're sort of like in a style rut, in a funk, not feeling good about yourself, your clothes can definitely help you feel like a better version of yourself. So check it out in my description box. I would love to help you. So without further ado, let's get started. The 10 most comfortable shoes for any occasion. All right, the first pair of shoes I wanna talk about are these Veronica Beard sneakers. You guys, I love these sneakers. I actually did a recent video on the shoe trends that are out of style. And yes, Golden Goose are sort of on their way out of style. And instead of the Golden Goose, I have been wearing these Veronica Beard sneakers all spring and summer long. They are so comfortable. I can walk miles in them. They leave no blisters on my feet. They're very neutral. That's why I love them. They also have a bit of a platform inside the sole. So even though you're wearing a sneaker, they will actually give you a few inches. And for reference, I am five foot four and a half. I actually measured myself for the first time the other day, like randomly. I was with my family and we all started measuring ourselves. I actually thought I was five foot three and a half, but I'm five foot four and a half. And so why not round up? I can actually say I'm five foot five. Who's with me on that one? So I paired them with my all-time favorite white jeans. These have been a top seller on SoHeather.com. They're good American. They're a high-waisted, slim, straight leg. So if you're looking for like the perfect pair of white denim this summer, these are your answer. And then I just paired these easy sneakers with a fabulous cropped teal blue, sort of lightweight jacket. This one is by Blank NYC, so the price point is amazing. All right, the second pair of shoes that I'm really loving, these are super comfortable. These are the only two sneakers featured in this video. And these are the New Balance sneakers. I have worn New Balance sneakers for probably, I don't know, eight years or so because they're that comfortable. This particular style comes in tons of different color combinations, but I really love the black and the white because they go with so many different things. When I walk my dog, I wear these sneakers. When I go work out at the Y and do like the weightlifting classes, I wear these sneakers. I even wear them on Sundays when I just want to be super casual. Like this outfit would be like a perfect Sunday casual look for me. Um, Y'all have been asking me to show more casual outfits, so I have really been trying to do that. So this is a great outfit. It's actually a little cropped hoodie and a simple black tank. This one is from Vince, so very reasonably priced. And then these are some amazing slimming joggers. They're by Hilera, so again, like probably under $40, and then the New Balance. So this would be a great travel look as well. I'm actually gonna be doing a travel video, what to wear and what not to wear when you travel, and that one will be coming up this Saturday, so stay tuned for that. Now these are heels. If you want some comfortable heels, you wanna look chic, you wanna look stylish, but you also wanna be comfortable, this is your answer. This is an amazing silver mule. The most comfortable types of heels, in my opinion, are number one, open toe, and number two, a three inch heel that's not like super skinny. So as you'll see, the bottom of this heel is a little bit bigger. So that's what makes them a little more sturdy and a little more comfortable. These are very reasonably priced. They come in like seven or eight different colors. I love this pointy toe as well because these heels are gonna do a great job of elongating your legs. And because they're silver, they go with so many things. I've had these for about a year now. And honestly, I bet I've worn them at least a hundred times. So I definitely know I've gotten my cost per wear out of them. I paired them with this fabulous silver strapless dress. This is such a beautiful color. I think yellow is just like 
the perfect color to wear in spring or summer. It's very reasonably priced. It would be perfect for a date night, a girl's night out. You could take it on vacation with you. You could wear it to a Sunday brunch. Like the possibilities are endless because this fabulous yellow summer dress I think is just amazing. Okay, the next pair of heels I wanna talk about. These are probably the highest heel in this whole edit and these are my most comfortable heels that I have that are four inches. The reason these are comfortable, you guys, these are by Sarah Flint. And as you'll see, this arch here is actually padded. So that is why these heels definitely by far are my most comfortable four inch heels. They're beautiful, I wear them all the time. They're very versatile because they're like a champagne gold color. Um, like honestly, they are a bit of an investment, but I think I've probably had these heels for about two years and I know I've worn them over a hundred times, like absolutely. They're very versatile, very wearable, and like I said, for a four inch heel, they're my most comfortable heels. Now the good news is Sarah Flint does make this exact shoe in a three inch heel. So I will be sure and link those as well down below because these are a must have, I think metallic heels also. My favorite color of shoe to wear is gold if you haven't noticed why, because that blends in with your skin tone. Um, it also obviously matches everything and I just think it's glamorous. It's very classy and elegant as well. So highly recommend these fabulous and comfortable heels by Sarah Flint. I paired him with this amazing coral crochet dress. I'm gonna go to the Bahamas with my daughter in about three or so weeks and I think I will definitely be bringing this dress. It's very beachy. Um, I love this coral color. I did try a coral lip today, so let me know what you think. I'll also link that color down below in the description box. This dress is lined. It's easy, it's wrinkle-free, and it's just very comfortable. You could certainly wear it on vacation, like I said, but you could also wear it like on a date night or a girl's night out as well. All right, another way to wear those Sarah Flint gold heels, I wanted to show you all this fabulous maxi dress. This is a beautiful baby blue shade. This one is by, I think it's Steve Madden, so the price point is amazing. Like, I think it's $119. This would be perfect to wear to a summer wedding if you have a fabulous summer wedding or a fun vacation coming up. Okay, the next pair of comfortable heels are these white kitten heels by Mark Fisher. In case you're wondering, kitten heels are trending really hard this spring and summer. I love these Mark Fisher heels because they're very minimal, so they don't take away from the outfit. You are wearing a heel, but because it's like two inches max, they're extremely comfortable and extremely wearable. I love the thin white straps. But I paired these amazing kitten heels with these fabulous Good American straight leg jeans. Just a great pair of denim. They're a medium wash. You can wear them all year round. They're super comfortable and extremely flattering. And then I just went with a navy blue tweed jacket. This is a great jacket. I think it's very classy, very sophisticated looking. It kind of has Chanel vibes because it is that tweed material. Okay, here are the flat sandals. So those of you who love wearing flats, these are amazing. They're by Sam Edelman. They're so comfortable and the reason is because the footbed is padded. Of course, another reason they're so comfortable is because they're flat. So I just got these recently and I have worn them a ton. No, they do not slip off of your foot. I know a lot of times these slides can do that, but these really do stay really well on your foot. They come in like I don't know, at least 10 or 12 different colors because they're by Sam Edelman. They're very reasonably priced, but I really loved this nude sort of patent leather shade. It's very luxe looking, and because it is a neutral, it goes with so many different things. I wore these with my favorite Pistola denim shorts, which are high-waisted, and I love that the circumference around your thighs is a little bit bigger, so that's what makes these denim shorts extremely flattering. And then I just went with my favorite Rails gauzy blue button-down, perfect for the hot summer months. Another pair of flat sandals that I'm really loving, these are very luxe looking and glam, if you will. These are by Tiki's. So I love the thin gold straps. I love this gold metallic shade. I think they do come in several different colors, but of course I love the gold because again, it's very glam. I'm gonna be taking these to the Bahamas with me. Um, I just think these are minimal, they're chic, and because they're flat, they're very wearable and very functional. I paired them with this amazing dark denim mini dress. This is by Cinca Set. I love how the neckline is sort of cut in. 
it's just very flattering it's like an a-line dress so it cuts in at the waist and then slightly flares around the hips so this is a very flattering style of dress really no matter what your body shape but if your hips are a little bit bigger you will love the style of this dress and i just always love a fun little mini dress for the summer months Okay, these are another pair of kitten heels. And like I said before, kitten heels are really trending hard this season, but because the heel is like one and a half inches, these are extremely comfortable, extremely wearable. They're a thong style, so your toes you know, fit between there like that. And I love the silver metallic shade. Silver is also another shoe trend that we are seeing. Really any metallic heel will do. So I'm loving these. I'm really finding myself wearing them a ton. You can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with skirts, you can wear them with shorts. And as you'll see here, I wore them with denim. These are some of my favorite jeans by Mother. They are a mid-rise, slim, straight leg denim silhouette. So if you don't love the super high rise, you will love these mid-rise light wash jeans by Mother Denim. And then I just paired them with an easy, under $100 gray tank by Michael Stars. Okay, the ninth pair of comfortable shoes are these amazing silver lace-up heels. I love these. They'll also be coming with me to the Bahamas. They're obviously comfortable because they're flat. And again, I don't love wearing flat shoes. You know, I always want them to have a little bit of pizzazz and a little bit of uniqueness. And because they're metallic and because they lace up around your ankles, I think that really makes them very stylish and very chic. And again, because they're flat, they're extremely comfortable and extremely wearable. I paired them with my favorite blue tank top. This is like under $50 from All Saints, such an easy basic tank. And then I just went with an easy light wash denim mini skirt and to dress it up a bit, I draped this fabulous oversized white denim jacket over this look. This is by Girlfriend Denim. And I love this look for like a summer night out with your girlfriends if you wanna go have a glass of wine on the patio or something like that. Okay, the 10th shoe, these are some wedges. They're like an espadrille uh, raffia wedge. I love this neutral shade. These are the perfect vacation shoe, I think, the perfect summer shoe too for like casual dinners out. Um, I love the neutral color and they do give you some height, but also they're extremely comfortable because the pitch is not that high. Um, I decided to pair these with those same Pistola denim shorts and an easy strapless white top and a fun white beach hat. This is a great look that I'll be wearing in the Bahamas, like when we're just maybe getting up in the morning and we're gonna go grab breakfast or something like that, or we're just like walking around the little beach shops. This is exactly what I'll be wearing. But these wedges, super comfortable and super stylish. Okay, let's get to that dating story. So when I say I broke up with him, it's not like we're a couple per se. We haven't had that conversation, although I know that we um he isn't seeing any other women because he told me that he told me that he deleted the apps or whatever but last week i started thinking like you know what i just don't love the fact that he lives in austin because we really don't get to see each other that much maybe once every other week sometimes once a week and i just had this feeling like heavy in my heart that that wasn't going to be enough for me i met with this like dating coach slash life coach and he told me he was like heather i want you to close your eyes for a second and I want you to envision yourself with your perfect guy. He goes, do you wanna wake up every morning with that guy? And I was like, of course. And he's like, do you wanna drink coffee in the mornings with that guy? And I was like, of course. And he's like, then maybe that guy in Austin isn't your guy. And so it kind of really started making me think that. And so I told him uh, last, I think it was Tuesday night, like, you know what? I just can't do the long distance thing. He was very understanding. And then the next day I started feeling like really sad and sort of like, just super emotional and very upset. And I thought maybe I made a mistake. So I reached back out to him and we decided that we were gonna keep talking. And I actually did end up seeing him this last Saturday night because I happened to be in Austin anyway, visiting my daughter. So we went and had dinner. We had a wonderful date. We had a lot of fun. We went out to a Mexican restaurant and then we went and listened to some jazz music. And I definitely think he's a great guy. He's like, I'm still getting this really comfortable, safe feeling when I'm around him. But I will admit now it's Monday, I'm back in Dallas, he's in Austin. I just don't know if there's an end game here. I don't know if I would ever move to Austin. I kind of think I wouldn't because my family's here, my friends are here. 
and I don't think he could ever move to Dallas. And so I just don't know. And I'm sort of like pulled. And so a part of me is saying like, Heather, just enjoy the moment, continue to get to know him. But then there's another part of me that might just be like my higher self, the higher version of myself, whatever you want to say, that's saying, you know what, if you know he's not the one, and if you're not going to be happy doing this long distance thing, then you should probably cut it off with this guy because you need to make room for the right guy to come along. Like I made this list of what I want in my ideal partner and being physically available and here with me is on that list. So I'm sort of struggling, but I wanted to be honest with you guys. I think he's a great guy. Just let me know what you think though down below in the comments because I always love hearing from you guys again. I just want to say I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. And if no one has told you yet today, you are beautiful, you are worthy, and I love you so much. And I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.